the locked gate. There was a section of woods in our small town that no one dared to go near. It was a place shrouded in shadow, and at its heart stood an old, rusted gate that had been locked for as long as anyone could remember. It was tall and twisted, covered in ivy and ancient carvings worn smooth by time. People said it led to something dangerous, something that should never be disturbed. But curiosity has a way of pulling you toward the forbidden. One cold October night, my friends dared me to find out what was on the other side of that locked gate. I told myself it was all just stories, tales meant to scare us away. I grabbed my flashlight, took a deep breath, and made my way to the gate, my footsteps crunching in the leaves as my heart raced with a mix of excitement and fear. When I reached it, the gate loomed before me, silent and imposing. Its lock was thick with rust, but the metal felt strangely cold under my touch. I pulled at the chain, hoping to shake it loose, and that's when I heard it, a faint scraping sound, like nails on metal, coming from the other side. I froze, the hair on the back of my neck standing up. The noise grew louder, as if something was pacing, restless and waiting. I stepped back, but just as I was about to leave, the lock broke free with a sharp clang. The gate creaked open, revealing a dark, narrow path leading into the deeper woods. My flashlight barely pierced the darkness, illuminating only shadows that seemed to twist and writhe along the path. Driven by a strange compulsion, I stepped through. The air was thick, almost suffocating, and every sound seemed to be swallowed up by the silence. As I moved forward, I saw carvings in the trees, symbols that looked ancient, foreboding. They seemed to glow faintly, like they were watching me. I tried to turn back, but the path behind me had vanished, as if the forest itself had closed around me. Panic clawed at my throat. I was trapped. Then, I saw it. A figure stood ahead, shrouded in mist. Its eyes glowed a sickly yellow, and it stretched one long, bony arm out, beckoning me forward. I wanted to run, but my legs wouldn't move. Its face was pale and hollow, twisted into a smile that was anything but human. The figure whispered my name, each syllable scraping against my mind. I clutched my head, trying to drown out the sound, but it grew louder, echoing from all directions. The creature took a step closer, and I could see its face was covered in the same symbols I had seen carved into the trees. The gate, it wasn't just locked to keep us out. It was locked to keep something in. Realization hit me, but it was too late. I could feel myself slipping, as though something was reaching inside me, tugging at my very soul. The creature reached out, its fingers wrapping around my arm, cold and suffocating, pulling me into the shadows. When I woke up, I was outside the gate, lying in the dirt, the lock once again intact. But I was different. My friends said I looked pale, like I hadn't slept in days, my eyes hollow and distant. I tried to tell myself it was a nightmare, but every night since, I've felt it, something clawing at the edge of my mind, a constant whispering from beyond the gate. I can still hear it calling my name, and I know that one night, I won't be able to resist. The gate is waiting, and whatever's behind it is coming for me.